right, welcome back to another episode of the Sales and Marketing Bootcamp. Uh, this will be episode seven of the sales training. Now I wanna go ahead and dive into how to sell Christmas lights effectively and efficiently. Uh, too many of you guys do not take of authority of the, the sales process. Like when someone wants a quote, you need to be the authority, you need to be the dominant one in the situation to lead the conversation forward, make it a no brainer for them and then get them on the schedule. Too many of you guys, and a lot of what I see and when people can't sell is just because they let things go. Uh, and they don't have a simple process that know that works. So in this video, I'm going to be going ahead and diving through the exact strategy that I believe everyone should do when you're talking about selling Christmas lights over the phone. So first things first is when a lead comes in, what you're going to go ahead and do is go ahead and send them a quick text and schedule a call. So the reason why you want to do this for most of the time. Now, we have guys that just call them right away. That works, too. But the reason why you want to do that is, one, people probably won't answer a number they won't remember or don't recognize. Uh, and then also, also you might call them and they might answer during a time that it might not be best convenient for them. So go ahead and send them this text. So everyone that we're working with now, if you're working with us currently, and when we bring in leads for you, go ahead and send this text. All right. So for example, hey, Sarah, it's Jason. So are you looking to light up your home this Christmas? How exciting. Uh, when's a good time for a 20 minute call to discuss the design details, colors, etc. That way we can get you over a few options. And then what we basically get you over a few options of what we can do for your home this Christmas and then basically uh, put a plan together, right? So that's gonna be the whole gist of this. What you're doing is setting the expectation and then booking a call, okay? So once you have this call booked, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and move over to this. This is gonna be the first sales call. So if you can get both the husband and wife on, this, on these two calls here, right? If you get them both on the sales call and the onboarding call, that will be perfect, okay? But if you're not able to do that, that's still perfectly fine, okay? So once you schedule this call and kind of give them an idea of how the call will go, you're gonna do the same thing on this call. You're gonna set the tone once again. So once you schedule this call, this call needs to be about building a relationship with them so that they know and like and trust you. And then also you need them to pour out what they want. Once you tell them, or once they tell you what they want, get creative with them, share new ideas, to support what they are looking to have done, and then go ahead and move on to booking this onboarding call, which is the second call, the second version of this call. Now, basically the whole plan here, right? So basically on this phone call, you've gotta break the ice share a few laughs, get to know them, basically get them to like you. Okay. So on this call, you'll set the tone within the first few minutes. So for example, when you call them or when, you know, they call you, whatever, however it goes, um, obviously you're going to say something to break the ice. Hey, how's it going? Oh, I'm doing good. Enjoying the nice weather. Uh, you know, whatever. Okay. Break the ice after that and say, perfect. So Sarah, tell me a bit more. I really, on this call, like I said, I saw your lead form came in for Christmas lights. I kind of just want to really get a gist of like really what you're looking at your home uh, look like this Christmas. So to get an idea of that, we'll go over some options, kind of get an idea of what you're looking for. If it makes sense for you guys, let's go ahead and make a plan and uh, we can go ahead and get you on the schedule. That sound good? Yeah, sounds good to me. Okay. And then basically what you're going to want to go ahead and do is perfect. So, you know, what's your dream design? Basically, what you want them to do is pour out what they're ideally looking for. Maybe they had lights the last, you know, couple of years, whatever. They'll probably say something along the lines of that if they have done lights before. But basically, what you're going to want to ask them is like, so tell me your dream design. Like, what would you, you know, if you're relaxing outside, you know, during this season or you're just coming home from a long day of work, what do you want to see? What will make you super happy? What do you want your home to be lit up like? Okay. Really, this is just getting an idea, like I said, of what they're looking for. Okay. Like I said, this call is exactly what I just said, get them to pour out what they want. If you can get them to emotionally buy from you, that's how it works. People buy with emotions and then justify it with logic. So get them to pour out what they want. Once they tell you what they want, agree with it and also mention other ideas, kind of just get creative with them, okay? So if they want the roof line, you know, a wreath, you know, a couple of trees wrapped, you're like, yeah, that'll look good. Um, are you thinking about, you know, doing this space as well? And, you know, just get creative with it. Make sure they know you're there to help them. You're there to just make their home look the best you can. Um, and then, like I said, right here, the real key is to make them know that you genuinely care, get creative with them um, and stuff like that. And then also get excited about what they want to do. Okay. Once you've got an idea or, you know, some line items of what their dream outcome would be, you would ideally go ahead and say, alrighty, sweet. Well, it was good chat uh, to chat a little bit more, see what you're really looking for. I've got that all written down. So here's what we'll do next. I'll go ahead and get this total all up, get everything all up together. Um, but let's go ahead and get a call scheduled with you and the wife and go over these. That way we can figure out what you guys are liking the most. If it's package C, package A, whatever. Uh, really, I just want to figure out what's going to work the best for you guys and pick the best design so that we can make your home look really awesome this Christmas. So 
let's go ahead and you know basically dive into that and get on that call. We can walk over those and then whatever one sounds good to you, let's go ahead and pick one. And like I said, if it makes sense for you guys, we can get you on the schedule. Okay. Right. And then of course they would say, of course, sounds like sounds like a good plan to me. And then awesome. So when's a good time for a 20 minute sit down call with the two of you to kind of go over all these and uh, see if it makes sense for you guys to get on the schedule. Then, like I said, what you're going to want to go ahead and do is schedule the second call. Okay. And this honestly can be 10 minutes after your first call. It doesn't really matter. It's just how much time will you need to get everything ready? Okay. Once every, once you get everything ready, then you can figure out a time. So if it's going to take you an hour to do this call, be like, um, when works, you know, how about an hour and an hour? Does that work for a sit down call with a 20, you know, 20 minute sit down call with you and the wife, you know, you and the husband, whatever. Right. And then schedule this call. Okay. On this call, you're going over the ideal package, figuring out what they want. So on this call, you walk over the different packages or line items or whatever you need to walk over just to get them to pick what they exactly want. Okay. Once they pick something, support it, agree with it, and just be excited to serve them and encourage that it will look good on their home. And then once you talk about pricing, this is a very, very important step. Say something like this, but obviously related to your situation. Most of you guys will literally just walk through packages and then it'll say the prices or you'll say the price, um, but you won't word it like this. Okay. So this is as if you were on the call. So, okay, sweet guys. So to get an awesome, to get our awesome team out there to light up your home, get this, you know, get all this stuff, you know, lit up and make your home look awesome. Uh, it'll be two grand or two K. Now, if you don't want to pay that in full, we'll take off, or if you want to pay that in full, we'll take off a pretty good chunk. But you know, what are, what are, you know, other customers in the neighborhood just like doing? It's just putting down our 50% deposit. That way you guys don't have to worry about the whole amount. You just worry about this, you know, half. And then we can get our team out here, get this all planned, get it scheduled, get our team out here, install these lights, make your home look awesome. And then you guys can worry about the rest down the line. Um, so does that kind of sound good to you guys? Which one do you think you kind of want to go ahead and do? Okay. And then you can also mention if you do want to do a, an incentive that they pay in full, like a 10% off or whatever, you can also mention that. But really what you're doing here is just making it a really no brainer. So for example, you know, if it's 2K and it's September and you're booking people this early, you can be like, perfect. So it's 2K. Now, I'm assuming you probably don't want to pay that all up front, which is totally fine. Uh, what a lot of other customers in the neighborhood love doing is just paying the 50% down. Plus, we actually take off 10% because you are booking in September. So that way we can get you in the books and that way it's way easier to get you on the schedule. So it only works out to about this. And then you guys don't even actually have to worry about the rest until we actually install it. Okay. So all you're doing there is you're making it such a no-brainer. Do you guys kind of see the difference that this makes compared to lead comes in, you call and see what they want, and then you just shoot them the emailed quote right compared to this because if you just send them you know let's say we take this so lead comes in and basically you schedule a quick call and you get on the call and see what they want right if you don't have this onboarding call which is essentially just finalizing things you call it a finalizing call um it's definitely not going to work as good as um or this is definitely going to work a lot better compared to if you just had this call to figure out what they want and then you went this route of just sending them a email Okay, an email and, you know, waiting days or weeks for them to even open it or reply or look at it. Because what you're doing here is it's an, it's basically a dead end. When you send them this quote, it's a dead end. What are the next steps? Like if they accept it, what's the next steps? Obviously, they're going to get on the schedule, but it's not as clear. Like I said, people buy with a clear and in sight. So taking that into account, like I said, when a lead comes in, Make it super simple, be there excited to serve, align a good time. On this call, you're really pouring out the emotion of really where they're at, okay? What they want done as far as what they want their home to look like. Like I said, you're, you're diving into what they want done, you're agreeing with them, you're supporting that idea, and you're also getting excited about it and you show that you genuinely care. Once you have all that, then you move on to basically resetting the expectation for the finalizing call and then going ahead and scheduling that, right? And then on this call, once again, Basically walking over the ideal package, see what they want done, go ahead and get them on the schedule, right? But most of you guys miss this part where you guys just say, hey, it'll be this price. But obviously they're probably not going to pay the full amount in price anyway, right? You need the deposit. Most of you guys do 50% deposits. So that's why you would say most customers in the neighborhood just like doing the 50% deposit because then that's the only other option and most people like doing it that way. So it makes them think, okay, we'll just do that then instead of paying it in full. So rather than saying, hey, it's 2K, yes or no, do you want to do it? It's, hey, it's 2K, do you want to pay it today or a 50% positive? Okay, 
So that's exactly kind of how to sell Christmas lights. Like I said, I'll go over this one more time. If you guys have any questions, feel free to message me in Slack or ask in the group or group calls. But like I said, if you guys really want to dominate at sales, especially selling Christmas lights over the phone, it's not hard. I've sold 300K and I'm only 20 over the phone helping you guys. So if I can sell 300K over Zoom calls and actually help you guys kill it, then that just shows a lot of what you can do over the phone, right? So lead comes in, send them this message, a line of call, very simple. On this call, get them to like you, ask what they want done, uh, pour out, get them to pour out what they want done, and then basically realign expectations, realign the set clear agenda for the rest of your calls, um, and then pretty much get another call booked after you've really figured out what they want and they like you. Schedule the finalizing call, get them to pick a package that they want, Get them excited about it, be there to serve them, uh, encourage with the package that they want. Because if you encourage it and the husband and wife encourage it and you're all on board, they're probably going to book. Okay, so just do that and then make it a no-brainer. This is really the part that really hits home is making it a no-brainer. This is an absolute no-brainer for most people if you word it this way. Okay, boom, then on board, get the customer schedule. So hopefully this helps, guys. Um, I know some of you guys were struggling with sales on the light side. So hopefully this helped. Like I said, if you guys have any questions, feel free to message me. Um, or if I didn't make anything quite as clear, let me know. But ideally, if this isn't hitting home in your head right now and you just are still a little bit confused, go ahead and rewatch it. But I think it's very simple and to the point and everything's all right here and I basically dived into everything. So implement this. I guarantee this is gonna work a lot better than you know just sending a quote over email or even uh, basically just talking with them and then sending it over, etc. Now, I will say this whole process can be done in person as well. If you're doing this in person, you would ideally have a first call with them, get a gist of really what they're looking for, get that first touch point set, and then go in person. And on that in person, you must be finalizing. There's no chance, you know, why would you go in person if you're not finalizing the deal? So, like I said, all the same principles pretty much apply to in person. But like I said, guys, go out and crush it, use this, and implement this so you guys can start selling these Christmas light jobs effectively and efficiently.